Tonight, the most common sexually transmitted infection, usually associated with women, is now the leading cause of some cancers in men. Jana Hanchard tells us what you can do to protect yourself against HPV. It's part of me that I just use it for Halloween from now on. 60-year-old Mike Smith is still holding on to his radiation mask. It's a symbol of the biggest scare of his life, throat cancer. But how the Liberty native developed cancer was even more shocking. You don't know what HPV is. The human papillomavirus is the most common sexually transmitted infection. The CDC says most sexually active people in the U.S. will have it at some time in their lives. While most strands of the virus can go away on their own, some can lead to cancer. But it is concerningly uh, one of the highest uh, rates of increase in head and neck uh, cancer that we've seen in many years. While most information about HPV is marketed to women, doctors say more men are seeing the ugly effects of the virus. Women can get tested for HPV during their annual pap exam, but doctors say there is no test for men. They say the best way to protect yourself is by using contraception or getting the vaccine. Right now, the Kansas City Health Department is giving out 600 free vaccines, but the vaccine is only effective for males and females between the ages of 19 and 25. Um, since the vaccine is, is relatively new and it's people in the 30s and 40s and we didn't have the vaccine then or it wasn't approved for uh, boys and girls, um, we're still playing catch up. And playing catch up means there are more people like Mike. And for Mike, that means men need to listen up. Men need to get to see their doctor. They just have to do that, and they need to do it at a younger age. In Liberty, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News. The HPV vaccine is working among teenage girls. According to a new CDC study, it shows while only one-third of teen girls received that shot, infection rates fell from 11.5% of sexually active girls in 2006 to 5.1% in 2013. Researchers say by increasing the vaccination rate to 80%, 53,000 more cases of cervical cancer could be prevented. And if you'd like to make an appointment for the vaccine, we put the info on our website, KSHB.com. Just click on the Scene on 41 section on our homepage.